Hello and welcome to the Lucian Environmental Podcast channel with me, Grace Matthews. I'm joined today by Senior Consultant and Infrastructure Specialist at Lucian, Andy Wise. So we've heard about asbestos in schools, housing and places of work, but what is there to know about asbestos on highways? Asbestos in highways is an unusual subject. Most people are surprised that there is asbestos in highways. In fact, in reality, it's in many aspects of highways particularly in structures constructed before the year 2000. And where is this likely to be found? Most highway structures, bridges, gantries, culverts, subways, drainage systems, chambers, you name it, it's there, electrical installations, cabinets and the like, are all liable to contain ACMs. So who are the duty holders? The asset owners are the duty holders, as with a building. The duty can be passed down through contractors and managing agents, but the responsibility remains with the owners of the assets. So unlike schools and places of work where damage to ACMs is inevitable, why is there such a problem on the highway, especially when you know the area is presumably unoccupied? The issue with asbestos in highways isn't really about accidental damage. The exception to that is probably with bridge strikes with wagons and heavy vehicles, Even, but then the risk is relatively low. The issue with highways is mainly around maintenance and refurbishment of the structures, resurfacing where there's drainage issues from flooding or blockage of the drains and the like. So the the issue is maintenance and management of the highway. So back to asbestos in buildings, we've heard the recent news about failed HSE findings of asbestos in schools. Do legal requirements apply for asbestos on highways? Yes. The, 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 the regulations pertaining to asbestos apply equally to the highways as they do to any other structure, as they do with ground con- contaminated ground and the like. So in relation to potential asbestos exposure then, who could this be affecting? Potential asbestos exposure affects anybody in the area where works will be undertaken. Primarily, contractors' staff are greatly at gr- greatest risk. In addition... Passing public can be exposed and the management of the asbestos containing materials is paramount to minimising the health and safety risk. Early identification and management of the asbestos allows for methods of working to take the asbestos containing materials into account whilst carrying out refurbishment. Having specialists on hand during refurbishment to, with a watching brief to ensure that un, any unidentified asbestos materials are not damaged during refurbishment is also a prudent measure. So what is available to support the duty holder in ensuring workers are protected? We can undertake surveys of the structures and the assets. A rolling programme of management surveys is being undertaken by the Highways Agency to ensure that management surveys and asset plans are in place for all their structures. This is unlikely to cut the, give adequate detail for maintenance works to be carried out. Therefore, if a refurbishment project is in the, in the pipeline for a structure, then a asbestos refurbishment survey will need to be undertaken. This can be carried out by a competent asbestos surveyor with the skills required, skills and knowledge required to carry out a refurbishment survey on a, on a highway asset. The survey needs to be intrusive and, and access all potential areas of asbestos containing materials within the structure. So with Britain's highways providing access to motorists 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, how do Lucian ensure minimal disruption to road users? The technique that Lucian uses to carry out refurbishment surveys on highway structures ensures minimum disruption. We'd, the amount of disruption to the, to the carriageway is minimised by use of specialist survey techniques and equipment to ensure that opening up of the carriageway and intrusive elements of the carriageway are minimised. We can carry out the, a survey of a bridge deck within an hour on site, so long as we have adequate protection from traffic management in place. All our equipment and staff are are directly employed, no subcontractors involved, so we 
have full control over the quality of what is undertaken and the highway is back in full operation within one hour from commencement of the survey. So at what stage should a survey be carried out? A survey should undoubtedly be carried out before any refurbishment work is undertaken. If a bridge deck is to be resurfaced, under normal circumstances the existing surface will be planed off and the refuse carted away. If there is any asbestos containing material within the bridge deck, that must be identified prior to any resurfacing work being undertaken, otherwise there is considerable risk to health and safety from the road planing debris. So we've discussed the basics of asbestos on highways and where it's found, but exactly how much of a widespread problem is this? It is a huge problem. There are literally thousands of highway structures and assets within the UK, and many of these have not been surveyed for asbestos. Many clients will be unaware that this is a risk. The highways agency have taken this on board and are addressing the issue. The many other owners of highway structures, primarily local authorities, who need to address their, their portfolio. So to summarise, what would you advise duty holders to do in the first instance? Be aware of the risk. It's put simply, know where you've got asbestos and manage it in accordance with the regulations. Employ competent surveyors, UCAS accredited, with knowledge of highway structures and the ability to do, undertake studies of principal bridge inspections and structural drawings and carry out surveys to ensure that any disruption to asbestos is carried out in a managed way such that there is minimal health and safety risk to employees and to the general public. Thank you Andy. And for more information on asbestos on highways please visit lucian.co.uk forward slash infrastructure.